Morning, a man is dead after being shot by police. This case spans across several North Texas cities, but came to a head in Rockwall. That's where we find Sydney Persing live this morning. Sydney, what have you learned? Well, Kara, the limited information we do have raises a number of questions. Questions at least four different agencies are likely working to answer as we speak as several chaotic scenes unfolded all across DFW just a few hours ago. So let's walk you through what we do know. Shortly before 7 p.m. last night, the Fort Worth Police Department asked the Rockwall Police Department to conduct a welfare check on a person possibly involved in a kidnapping. Then 40 minutes later, Dallas police notifies Rockwall police of a stabbing and says a female adult and two kids were possibly taken from that scene. At this point, the suspect in the Dallas stabbing is identified as the same potential suspect in the alleged Fort Worth kidnapping. That brings us back here to Rockwall, specifically at the intersection of Summerhill Drive and Rockwall Parkway, where officers located and attempted to contact that suspect outside of a home just after 8 p.m. That is when police say he engages in gunfire with officers. That suspect then was shot and died later as a result of his injuries. No officers were injured and the children reportedly taken from the Dallas scene were found safe. And again, this leads us back to several questions this morning. Questions we are working to get answered for you. Questions like who was this suspect? Who was stabbed? Is that person OK? Who was kidnapped and what is the relationship between all of these people? As soon as I hear from Rockwall Police with those answers, I will update you on air and online. Mark. Okay, looking forward to those updates. Thank you, Sydney. With abortion.